tough one tonight and it's sort of two on the bounce. What do you sort of put that down to and how do you turn it around for the one day is? Yeah, I think, you know, we've probably been off our game a little bit for the, the three T20s, to be fair, like even the, the first one that we, we managed to win at Edgbaston. I've still felt like we still haven't played our, our best cricket. So um, it's, a, it's a tight turnaround now to the ODIs, but we're still staying alive in the Ashes series, which is what we've come here to, to win. So, we're you know, we've just got to have a look at our game and, and make sure when we start the ODI series that we're, I guess, correcting some of those errors that, that we're making and that we're really sharp. Did the uh, the change with the to cut the fourteen overs? Which side do you feel that benefited? Uh, I thought it was reasonably fair. I, I think you know we scored at um, what did we score at? Not quite eights, and then to be eight and a half of fourteen. I thought it was a it was about right, but I thought we also had a chance with the ball. Um, you know, if we if we bowled well enough, because I think they bowled pretty well, and it, and it found it quite difficult to score if you if you got the ball in the right areas. So I thought it was a, a reasonably a, a probably a, a fair total. I think to give both teams a chance. And how about the condition? Because obviously we've quite a few spinners and the wet ball makes it difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the balls are sort of skipping through the surface of the, the outfield once there was a bit of, bit of moisture on it. But um, I thought, you know, Georgia Ware in particular done a really good job with the ball um, and it's difficult to grip when it's wet. So, um, you know, there, there's a, a lot of things that didn't go, go well. There's a lot of things we did do really well tonight as well. To what extent are the team... Yeah. To what extent um, are the team missing Meg Lanning? Oh, definitely. I mean, she's a, she's one of the greatest players in in the world. So, and she's been been in our side for a long time. So, we were definitely going to miss her. Um, that was always going to be the case. I think she's always made a, a lot of runs over here. So, you know, we, we certainly miss her. But um, I still think that we've got uh, got the team and, and got some good depth to to cover. But um, yeah, I mean. Any team that, that she's having Meg Lenning in their side would, would miss her when she's not there. I just want to touch a bit on momentum. It's obviously been... Um, Australia have been lost consecutive matches since 2017 and haven't, in the broader context of the one series, for a lot longer than that. How do you try and turn this around with just a few days before the ODI in Bristol? Yeah, I think um, it, it's just about being really clinical and, and how we prepare and, and being really honest with ourselves as well. So. Um, you know, we all start start again at the ODIs, so I think sure they they may have the momentum, but I think you know that can that can change pretty quickly. I think it can change pretty quickly within a game. It can change pretty quickly within a series. So we're confident that hopefully we can swing the, the momentum back to our way um, after the first ODI. And and on that, Australia have won I think 15 consecutive ODIs. Does that give you a lot of confidence going back into that format? Oh, I guess so. I mean, you know, they're playing good cricket, England. So so we certainly know. Um, that, that we have to play really good cricket as well. So, sure, it gives us some confidence, but, um, you know, every, every game's a, a different game, so we certainly know that, that it's not going to be an easy task for us. With the change in format, is there likely to be much change in selection? Oh, potentially, yeah. I think that's something we'll look at over the, over the next couple of days. We've obviously got about um, 14 players or 15 players with us at the moment, so we'll have a bit of a look at um, what our best sort of lineup I think, is for the, for the ODI format. Um, but uh, we'll just take a, a little bit of time to, to assess that, I think, and, and talk about the conditions down in Bristol as well.